and welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for being here again if you're a returning subscriber you know how we do thank you thank you for coming back all the time none of you are new here this is your favorite orange girl the only orange human being you know the orange experience by orange Presh. thank you for stopping by i hope you enjoy coming across this channel today we have a wedding to attend and this is supposed to be a get ready with me video but let's just call this the most chaotic get ready with me video ever because i'm trying to get ready for a wedding my dress is still at the taylor's place as i'm talking to you right now i have to go there get it and then i'm not doing makeup for so many reasons along the line i'll tell you guys why i'm trying to fix my press on nails that i got from one of my favorite beauty online stores just body so i'm going to do that fix my nails try and even though the face is not going to have makeup i just try and look a little bit a little bit <laughs> let's get into it i'm going to use this alcohol pad to clean up my nails just clean my cuticle and begin the video so let us start what we have come into the room to do the last time I fixed my nails, I didn't use the nail tabs. I used super glue because I was have I was struggling with the tabs. But now I'm not going to do that again because I still have super glue on my hand and it took me so long for me to take off the previous nails that I fixed. It's just an uncomfortable position for me, basically. So yeah, I don't know how long like i'm going to spend trying to go to this wedding but i'm going to try to be on time as much as possible so you guys let me just run while while getting ready something that really annoyed me during this festive season and it's just I don't know. I may be wrong. I'm not right. Like, there's really nothing I know, especially when it comes to this topic that I want to talk about. But I think I'm allowed to have an opinion and I'm just going to air my opinion on something I saw that was really rampant during this period. So, if you watch my last video, you will see the video I made on Christmas Day that I went for a Christmas party. Now, before that party, I was already seeing a lot of videos, a lot of, you know, pictures on social media. And even in reality, I see a lot of children not looking like children. I don't know if it's with this modern day mothers or I'm not trying to slander anybody or slander anybody's style or form of parenting but why does your little girl of four five or even ten have a frontal hair on i don't know if it's just me i don't know if it's wrong i don't know if it's right but i think that if you're doing that to show that you have money you're actually showing that you're local you're actually showing that you're not exposed because let me start from comfort but as an adult say i know how uncomfortable wearing front frontal makes me feel and then what it does to your edges and all of that so why why what happened to all those fine fine braids that we used to do as kids even when we used to fix weaves when we were small it used to look we still do the things within us packing gel and you are gone but no no you guys this present day mothers they are here to prove something but i want you to know that in my opinion it makes you look tacky it makes you look unexposed it makes you children have hair pack their hair make their hair beautiful braid it put beads children for crying out loud like there was one of the competitions that they did and they they asked the kids their age like how old they were and the two people involved in the competition was an eight year old and a 10 year old like until that girl said she was 10 i honestly thought she was 16 because she looked 16 her outfits definitely 16 year old outfits like i don't even have a problem with the outfits why is your 10 year old on 
long frontal braids with to the bum bum length like where are we going to then you now did the frontal you guys and then that's not the only issue she's on full makeup eyebrows all done like christmas day like what's going on and now she looks older than her age so when she says she's 10 10 we are 10 what how is that person 10 years old kids can be kids and still look good like there, there were children at that party who looked like children but their, their dressing was superb like when you need to dress a child up like an adult for them to look good then there's a problem children don't need all those i'm not sure i'm expressing this thing the way i'd like but let them enjoy all the things that children are supposed to enjoy there's time for everything once upon a time all these things didn't matter we didn't care about all these things the only thing we cared about during christmas was just our fine christmas clothes no, and now children like they care about wearing frontal hair the quality of hair that they are going to wear this that that that, that. you are stealing their childhood away from them i don't think it's fair it doesn't tell well it doesn't ooze class it doesn't ooze oh come on it doesn't ooze class it doesn't show civilization it's not giving what you think is giving you understand when you're four years four years guys like even younger than four years comes out with a pixie coil full frontal you do you know what we're seeing i'm seeing that that child is struggling that's what i'm seeing i'm seeing that the child is is not comfortable i could see the children that they imagine somebody crying all her front i was like this thing that i hate so much i hate the my god as an adult i can't even stand it come to talk of a smally that is supposed to be free you can do better as parents please you can there are so many kiddies hairstyle even more than kiddies hairstyle that's trending these days that when i see i'm like god i can't wait for my baby girls i can't wait to have my own children i can't wait to so that i'll dress them up that way i don't know but that's it about what i want to say Sha. that's it about the rant generally like even in 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 their behaviors in their dance steps that's another thing that's what brings about adult sexualizing children because let me give you people an example still on that same party that i attended but when they were doing the dance competition and the children were dancing and i thought oh yeah this is cool this is nice the crowd was more interested in the children who could twerk and that's very strange to me like how can you expect a child to know how to twerk there's a child who's dancing she's dancing she's giving us all the moves but you're cheering on the one that can twerk and shake a bum bum because why because what's your reason like i i would never understand your reason even when it was time to, to pick the winner of the dances, people were going for the, the child who can be more sexual, who can appear more sexual in their style of dancing. And that was just out of place for me. Like, I feel very uncomfortable. I'm not a parent. I probably don't know where you people are coming from because that's the next thing you people will say now that say, somebody who does not have children has no right to talk. One thing I know for sure is that you need to allow children to be children. Let them live as children. Let them enjoy their child. But no. No. You people want everybody to be adults. You are competing. And you know the problem with all these things? Look at my gold my babies this is what i'm wearing today when i come out when i appear ah, yeah, 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 yeah. the one that even was and i'm not exaggerating i couldn't record you fix nails for your child it's okay to polish your child in colors like children colors that's beautiful you are going to fix nails french tips for your child that is just eight years old and i know their ages because they played a game where they had to see how old they were why 
I don't even know what is okay and what is not okay. I just know that it's not giving what she think is giving. Just even as an adult, let me tell you something. You see the way I'm wearing this, my cornrows like this, eh? When I eventually put my wig on, I will look older than I look right now. It's just it it's just it with wig it's just that's just normal so when you do that to children they don't look like children anymore they don't look like adults and you're robbing the child of their childhood when you're doing that to them because i'm not saying this to me an excuse for predators but there are predators out there there are sexual predators out there who their excuse will not be that the child did not look like a child I'm not saying that if a person is a child molester, whether you dress the child like an adult or, or a child, it will stop a child molester. But let us do our own part. You understand what I'm trying to say? Let us, so that when we want to judge the case, we, the person will not tell us that this one are picking because all the child molesters, that's what you hear them say. In fact, sexual abuse and child molesting is a different topic altogether. But I'm just bringing it because I've had cases where I've had to tell people like, this girl is a small child, she's too small for you. The next thing the person will tell me is, this one has small picking. This one where they behave like old woman. This one has this, this picking where they see so you not see near you. It's because that child is already doing things that an adult would do. I won't blame the child for doing things that an adult would do. It's what of the people they have around because of the people they, because of the supervision that they have around so at the end of the day you hear these abusers these predators now saying that this one has small picket you give them an excuse to give you at the end of the day so please i'm begging for the sake of these children don't expose them to things that they will not be struggling with in the future so you will see the problem now i completely forgot that i needed to meet up with a time for the wedding and now I am doing last minute horriness. Sharp, sharp. So, this is what the first one looks like. You like it? Beautiful. So, we're just going to take this. Yo, this is what my nails look like, guys. This is it. And the light. This is it. The design on this side is more than it's my fault because I was supposed to be more creative, but because I was talking, 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 I completely forgot myself. But still okay. I'm so satisfied with the outcome. How did I forget that I was meant to do all other things before fixing my nails? Now I'm going to struggle with putting on my underwears and every other thing before I get my dress done. But I'll be able to do that. Let's go. So I just got a call now, you guys, from the reception. That it is starting. <laughs> I'm still here struggling. Jesus. God. I'm not going to call it my clothes. This is actually my backup dress, but I actually have another plan for this dress. I don't want to wear it for this wedding. So, I'm honestly going to go. So, you know, like I was saying, I don't like to wear makeup because, not because I don't like makeup or because I don't know the basics. I actually ha know the basics of putting on you know, basic makeup, but, but, oh, because it's beauty, you guys. I'm so beautiful. But I'm never comfortable with makeup. Like my confidence in makeup is never hundred percent. I'm always worried about if my makeup is falling apart, what my face looks like, what the makeup makes me look like. I'm always just so bothered. So if it isn't very professional, even professional makeup makes me lose confidence. But if it isn't very professional, I just really like to go with my natural face. So I'm just going to put some brown powder and now I'm running very late. I'm about to miss the couple entrance. So I'm running late. I'm just going to go there and see you guys.
to feel this shy. I don't know where we're gonna fly like you did sometimes. See.